Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for another Titus Diorama and Toy Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing Archangel from the Marvel Legends line. Alright guys, as you can see, Archangel comes in the standard window box Marvel Legends design. Granted, due to the amount of accessories in his wings, that box is a lot larger than we standardly see. On the side of the box, you can see some really nice artwork. And of course, on the back of the box, you can see a really nice product shot with a uh, small bio. And it's safe to say that this guy is not part of a Build-A-Figure wave, although he does come with an extra arm for Apocalypse. With that stated, guys, let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and take a look at him and his accessories. All right, guys, and here is Archangel out of the packaging. Let's start off with talking about the accessories that he comes packed with. First and foremost, he comes with the interchangeable arm for Apocalypse. I think that it's very well sculpted and it looks really nice. Um, he comes with the metallic wings uh, and four head sculpts. Um, of course, the two unmasked, uh, the semi-masked, and then the full masked head sculpt. Uh, I like the accessories he comes packed with. However, I do feel like he could have benefited with having an extra set of hands. Um, however, it is what we got, and I do like the fact that we have an extra piece to the Apocalypse figure. Alright guys, so with the accessories out of the way, let's quickly talk about my thoughts about this particular figure. Now, I'm not going to lie, this figure is basically a reuse of a previous Archangel figure that we got a few years back. That stated, it's really hard to find that particular Archangel, and when you do, you're usually paying close to $100 or more. Um, so I'm really glad to have this figure in my collection. Now, I love the metallic wings. They are very large. Um, I do love the body mold and the paintwork on this guy. He came out really, really well. Um, so there's not much I can complain about this guy. So let's move on to the articulation, and then we'll do some comparisons with some other figures that I own. So guys, Archangel has some actual extra articulation, and that's due to the wings. So let's start off with the wings, and then we'll move on to the body. So first and foremost, the wings, as you can see, do fold up, and they can fold all the way back. And when you fold them out, there's two other smaller wings here that do also adjust on his back as well. So if you want it to, you can really get the wings all the way around him to get some really cool poses. Now, he can look up quite high, which is really great to see, especially if you're gonna have him in flight mode. And he can look down pretty far as well. Um, he does look left and right, of course. Uh, and he doesn't have any head wobble. Um, now, he doesn't have butterfly joints. I would love to see butterfly joints on this particular figure, but I understand why they didn't put it in because of the backpack for the wings. Um, but his arms can go this far up. Of course, they can do a full 360 if you want to do it. They're on a nice ratchet. He does have the swivel at the um, bicep. He has double jointed elbows, as you can see, that work really well. His hands do swivel in and out and you can rotate them he does have a pretty decent ab crunch although i wish it was a little bit better he has a hip swivel he can do the splits that far he can kick forward this far he can kick back a little bit but not by much um, he does have an upper thigh swivel, as well as the boot cut. He has a double jointed knee 
which allows him to move his knee that far, which is really great. And of course he can point his feet up this far, point his feet down this far, and he does have that wonderful ankle rocker. So let's go ahead and take a look at him with some other figures in my collection. So here he is beside the black suited Spider-Man and the comic looking Black Panther. Here he is beside the movie Black Panther and the movie Captain America. And finally, here he is beside Magneto and Sabretooth. Now, although he is a standalone figure, you could technically class him in with this particular wave because, again, he does come with that Build-A-Figure piece for Apocalypse. And these two figures on either side were from that particular wave. So overall, guys, like I said, I think this figure is really nice. It has a few minor nitpicks. Uh, one of those being the fact that he's really heavy with the wings on, which means you have to pose him around in order to get him to stand. Um, but that stated, if you missed out on the first Archangel that came out a few years ago, this is definitely the time to pick this one up and get it into your collection. Now, as always, guys, I want to thank you again for checking out today's video, and I hope that you really enjoy it. As always, I enjoy putting these videos together for you guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any of my future diorama videos and toy reviews. And as always, guys, stay nerdy.